These braids are so old, you can see all my new growth. Can y'all see me getting to the finish line? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Kamora and I would love it if you went ahead and subscribed to my channel. After subscribing, make sure you go ahead and you click that bell right next to subscribe, which is going to notify you of whenever I post a new video. If you've been watching for a while, the last like month or so, something of that nature, you will notice that I've had these braids in okay so this is what they're looking like so this is like a month or two i know so bad because i am this person who literally just cut my hair about a year ago if you have not seen that video make sure you click the card up at the top to go ahead and check that video out but basically i cut my hair off about a year ago because my hair just wasn't growing and i wanted a new start so i went ahead and i just shaved it off actually I had my husband go ahead and help me shave my whole head literally I had a bald head you guys but look at me now I'm wearing braids so I am still on this natural hair journey um, I've actually been natural for like 12 plus years for a very long time I've been natural for as long as actually I can remember I don't use I don't put any chemicals in my hair I haven't had any perms in like 12 plus years or something of that nature but I think um, it's just been the stress of having children and maybe just not taking care of my hair when I wear my wigs or even when I wear my protective hairstyle I tend to sometimes abandon my hair and not take care of it um, so that's kind of what happened with my natural hair it just started you know shedding and I just, it just started falling apart you guys so I just decided to chop it all off so today what you guys are going to see me doing is basically y'all gonna see me taking out these braids and then y'all gonna see me shampooing my hair so I'm going to show you guys how I shampoo my hair um, after I literally just freshly take my braids out these braids are so old you can see all my new growth let me just come closer y'all can see all the new growth look at that and then even if I do this you can see all the new growth coming in got some scissors and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of cut it I don't have that much hair so I can basically just cut this whole thing and I know I'll be okay. I really like this hair color. It really complements my skin. Everyone's been giving me nothing but compliments. Everybody loves this hair color. I typically usually go for this hair color, but the last few months I have just been sticking with black. But it's been really fun going with this hair color again because it's been quite a while. <laughs> really interesting to see what my hair looks like y'all let me know in the comment section below what has been the longest time that you have kept braids in your hair because I feel like this is probably the longest time with having a new baby and all that I just haven't really had the time to sit there um, and you know do my hair like that so when I put these braids in after having a new baby they tend to stay in my hair a little longer than I will like just because you know all my attention now is to baby <laughs> I will be pre pooing my hair y'all so if you have not seen that video yet make sure you check the video in the iCard so you can kind of see what I do after these braids are completely taken out oh my gosh y'all look okay so I just took that one braid out look at that it's all tangled here but I did do the rubber band method with this so I will need to cut the rubber band out of my hair um, and I can kind of feel where it's at. There you go. So this is all real stuff on this camera that I'm showing y'all. I'm not coming at y'all all pretty or anything. I'm showing y'all the real deal. This is what usually happens when we take our braids out. It's not all pretty, right? As I take the strand out, I'm just going to add a little bit of water for the detangling process. Um, just to kind of make it a little easier as I detangle. Because my hair is in a really fragile state right now after being in these braids for so long. So just doing a little bit of finger detangling here. This is not my full detangling process because I do pre-poo. So y'all, I'm going to go ahead and add some oil. That's coconut oil. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of that coconut oil in my hair. 
So I'm going to apply it to every strand of braid that I take out. Then going in with my spray bottle, then I'm moving on to the next braid. And I'm just going to do the same process throughout my whole hair until all of these braids are completely out. <laughs> see here what I do I just kind of separate the hair just a little bit once I take the braid out okay I just kind of finger detangle a little bit there so that is what my hair is looking like look at all the growth y'all you could, couldn't believe that I just cut this like a year ago I'm so proud of what my hair is looking like. This is my first time seeing it um, in two months. Like about two months, I know, bad. Don't judge me, okay? Now I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the same process throughout the rest of the hair. I won't record the whole thing, y'all, but I'm gonna go ahead and just start taking this out so I can have a faster process and not be recording the whole time. It'll just make it easier, so let's do it. I only have this one braid left. Ooh! One more braid left and it is time to get to pre-pooing. And then we're going to get on to washing the hair. Can y'all see me getting to the finish line? I'm so close but yet so far. I'm excited. Last one. Here it goes. Just like that. My hair is pretty dirty. We got a lot of work to do. I am showing you real life on camera right now. So this is the back. This is the front. Again, my hair is not pretty right now. It is not pretty. It is dirty. It needs to be washed. It needs to be nursed back to health, okay? And we're going to do that. We're going to take care of it today. So the first thing I'm going to do now that all the braids are officially out. <laughs> now that the braids are officially out, the first thing I'm going to do is pre-poo. Once again, I know I probably sound like a broken record. I've been saying it over and over again, but make sure you go watch my pre-pooing video because I've done a whole pre-poo routine on this. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip over now to showing y'all wash my hair. Look at this. Look at that natural 4C hair. It actually has a little bit of volume. It's bouncy. It is flaky. I just took the braids out, fresh out. All right, y'all, so it is time to pre-poo. All right, you guys, currently it is morning time, and I did end up doing my pre-poo, and I let the pre-poo sit overnight. I went to bed like this. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and start shampooing my hair. But Y'all already saw me take down my braids. I showed y'all what my hair looks like, and then I did my pre-poo routine, and then I let my pre-poo sit overnight. Um, what I will start doing is probably putting like a bonnet over my shower cap just to give myself that more intensive treatment underneath to give myself that heat that I am desiring to lock everything in really really well to get all that moisture in so let's just go ahead and take it off this is what it looks like after being underneath um, the cap overnight right this is after my pre poo you look here you can see all the moisture from that so we know it did its job you see that it did its job so now what I'm going to do, I, because my hair is so short, y'all, it's not really staying in these twists. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just untwist the hair, and then I'm going to braid it. So for my wash day, I use all of the Cream of Nature products and I actually got these from my local beauty supply store, but you can find it on Amazon. So I use their shampoo and what's really nice about Cream of Nature is that it's really good for your natural hair and it, they are sulfate free, paraben free, all of that good stuff. So I use their conditioner as well as their leave in. So I use all of their products for my wash day. All right, you guys, to first start, I go ahead and I go in with my, uh, I go in with my Cream of Nature shampoo 
and make sure you always apply a generous amount um so right now i'm just going ahead and just putting it all over my hair so i do have the braids and i leave my hair i leave the braids in as i wash my hair it really helps for me to get the product all into my hair you guys when i do it this way plus it is really easy to detangle this way i don't have my hair out and it's just all up in my way so i really like um washing my hair this way i can easily get all into my scalp all into my roots and just really you know get down to business and just wash my hair really really well when I have it into parts like this I'm just letting the water run all throughout my hair right now just making sure I'm using my finger and getting all into my scalp just making sure I get all of that product out of it um, so yeah I'm just letting the water do its thing <laughs> You guys once i rinse the product out i go ahead and i go in with my deep conditioner once again i'm making sure i'm getting the product all into my hair you guys all into my scalp all in my roots you name it just making sure i'm massaging this product all in there so it can do its thing <laughs> Now, once I do that, I go ahead and I put on my shower cap. Um, I actually use two, you guys, and this just helps to, you know, uh, lock in the heat. And I leave this on for about 30 minutes. So after 30 minutes, I will go ahead and take it off and come back and wash it off. But you can go ahead and maybe use your sink, but I get back in the tub for this. Sometimes, not all the time. Okay, you guys, it has been 30 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and take the shower cap off and go and rinse out all of that deep conditioner out of my hair. So now I'm just going ahead, just rinsing it out like y'all have been seeing me doing, um, just making sure I'm getting all of the product out, getting all into my roots, massaging my scalp, you guys, doing what I got to do to make sure I have clean hair. <laughs> So now for the fun part, I go ahead and I start taking out the braids individually and then I go ahead and I add in my leave in cream um, as well as oil, which you guys will see in the few moments. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I am also going in with my olive oil and tea tree oil blend, and this is by African Pride. I went ahead and I put it in this bottle because it's so much easier to just add it onto my roots, as y'all see that I'm doing here, as opposed to leaving it in the original bottle that it came in. And then I'm just going ahead and just massaging that oil all in there. So yeah, I'm just adding it on my roots, making sure I'm getting all deep down in the roots because that's where it really matters. That's where your growth comes from for your hair. Um, so I'm just making sure I'm doing that, getting it all over my scalp. Oh my gosh y'all do y'all see that uh, little bounce that I got going on there yes do add water for this process because right now I do not have the shower going I'm just in the shower standing in the shower just so I don't make a huge mess outside of the shower so yeah going in with my detangling brush i actually will have it linked in the description box for you guys found this on amazon is really great for detangling if you have not seen my other hair videos definitely make sure that you do because i talk a lot about that brush so i just go ahead and i braid the hair back up now i'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same steps all throughout the rest of my hair you guys so just watch and enjoy <laughs> okay you guys so i do have to say while y'all are watching this part with me just repeating the same process um i want to remind y'all that this is a three parts video um so all of that video i will have it in a playlist so you guys can watch it from part one which was my showing you guys how i do my aloe vera how i prepare my aloe vera for my pre-poo then moving on to my pre-poo and then now on to wash day so i will have it in the playlist so y'all can easily access it if you have not seen it make sure you check the description box below for all of my hair videos if you have any questions i can guarantee you they probably already been answered in my previous hair videos 
So yeah, again, I'm just repeating the same process, but you guys check the I cards and I will also have it linked in the description box below for y'all. Stilettos, you're naturally my favorite girl, hands down, and that's how it's gonna be, you and me, so no now. But look at that bounce though to my hair. You're naturally my favorite girl, hands down, and that's how it's gonna be. You and me, so no now. You know how to put on makeup every day, and I love your natural hair. Okay, you guys, so once I have applied all of the leave in conditioner into my hair, and I've now, you know, rebraided my hair back into sections, I just go ahead and I apply more oil onto my scalp, you guys. Once again, it is super important that we have a moisturized scalp um, because that is where our hair growth comes from. I'm just adding some more of my African Pride Olive Oil um, Tea Tree Blend. And I love your magical hair. All right, y'all. So that is it for my wash day routine. This is what my hair is currently looking like. And I love your magical hair. Um, if y'all would like to see how I style my hair from this point on, make sure you let me know that in the comment section below and then I can go ahead and film tutorial of how I style my hair from this point on what I do to get my curls pop. Bing. It feels really, really good. It is definitely, it feel, I feel my hair definitely feel more moisturized. I'm bringing it back to life after having these braids in there. I'm actually going to leave my hair like this for the rest of the day. If there's any other videos that you guys would like me to do, make sure you comment that in the comment section below. We are looking good. Our hair is hydrated. Our hair is moisturized. We're not playing games. We look good, sisters. Okay, we are looking good. Look at this. Mm. My hair is living its best life right now. It's out. And I'm here for it. It just feels so good. It's breathing. I can I, I can hear it breathing. I can feel it breathing. This is doing something for me and I'm all for it. Before I head on out, if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do. And after subscribing, go ahead and click that bell right next to subscribe so you never ever miss whenever I upload. It's going to notify you of whenever I put out a new video. So you guys, that is it for today's video. Again, I hope you found this video helpful and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.